Welcome to Seller. I'm going to show you how you can set up an online store in literally just a couple of minutes using the Seller e-commerce system. So I've signed up at Seller.com and I've logged in and this is the control panel that you'll see when you do the same. Now I've called my store the camera store because we're going to set up a website selling kind of action cameras and that kind of thing. So let's see how we do that. Firstly, we need to load on the item details that we're going to sell. So if we hover over manage at the top and then select items, it will take me to the item manager. Then I click on easy new item there. Now I'm just going to paste in the details of some items I've got for sale. The first one is a GoPro 3 Plus Black Edition. And there's a special offer on this where it includes some free batteries and things. So I'm going to just highlight that right now. I add it to the home page collection so it will appear on our home page and I give it an image as well. And then I click on save. There we are, we can see our first item is there. Now I'm just going to add three more items. Great, so we've uploaded our four images. Now we need to just take a look at our actual website. So to do that we click on website and select edit your website. And then click on edit primary website. When you first sign up to seller, your account is using the quick start template, which to be honest looks really good. This is what we've got in front of us here. And I'm just going to use that for this particular website. So let's give it a logo. At the moment it just says the name of our store. I want to give it a better looking logo. I've designed one earlier on, that's here. So I click on upload there. So you click on the L icon to load your logo. And then I'm going to put a background image on here too. So you just click on that button there. Here's an image I downloaded from RGB stock. Click on upload. That's great. There's another panel there for an image. I'm not going to use that. You can just ignore that. It won't be shown on the live website. I'm going to put some text here as well. In fact, I know that there's some text fields there. If you click on this icon up here, it borders everything that you can type in, especially if it's hidden by an image. So if I just click on there, I'll be able to type. I need to change the color so that it shows up against the background and a size two. Welcome to the camera store. Let's get rid of the old text, make it a bit bigger. That's great, we'll just leave that there. We notice when you type anything, uh, a, a save changes box will appear at the bottom button, so you just click on that to save it. Right, I also want to add a few options such as contact us. So to do that, you just click on this kind of family tree icon. That means button group. If I click on that, at the moment we've got home and all their default. All is the name of the category setup. So I'm just going to add contact us. And then select feature page, contact us, add new, and then close that. We'll see we've got that there. Um, and now we could we you can add all sorts of pages there, but basically. That's kind of it. There's a phone number up the top. Let's put in our actual phone number. Don't forget to save changes on that. So now if I just go back to the control panel and then you can click on preview website at the top. You'll see there's our website. It's got the items on it. You can literally buy those items right away. Here we go. This is the GoPro 3 Plus Black Edition. Of course, I could have uh, made the description look a bit nicer and added some more photos and that kind of thing. But literally, within minutes of signing up, you're able to accept payments. You're able to allow people to buy from you with a great looking website that's cost you nothing and literally taken just a couple of minutes.